Before administering a subcutaneous injection, review the Medication Administration Record, or MAR. Also, observe the first five rites of medication administration, and later address the sixth rite, documentation, as shown in the video skill, ensuring the six rites of medication administration. Once you've prepared the correct drug, take it to the patient at the correct time and identify him according to facility policy. It's Frederick Rapp, March 4th, 1964. Okay, thank you, Mr. Rapp. It's time for your heparin injection. Okay. I'm just going to check your medication orders. Compare the drug label with the MAR. Okay. Also, describe the medication and the procedure, noting that the injection will cause a slight burning or stinging sensation. Still may sting or burn just a bit. Okay. Then select an appropriate injection site. The best choices are the outer aspect of the upper arms, abdomen one to two inches from the umbilicus, and anterior and lateral aspects of the thighs. Other options include the scapular areas of the upper back and upper ventral or dorsal gluteal areas. Then inspect the site for bruises or inflammation and palpate it for masses, edema, and tenderness. Avoid sites with these abnormalities because they can affect drug absorption. To administer low molecular weight heparin, use a site on the right or left side of the abdomen at least two inches from the umbilicus. Okay. To administer insulin, systematically rotate sites in one anatomical area, such as the abdomen. When all those sites are used, move to another area, such as the thigh or start the rotation pattern over again in the same area. Next, help the patient into a comfortable position and ask him to relax the area chosen for the injection. Using your thumb and forefinger, grasp a skin fold at the site and estimate the amount of subcutaneous tissue. This helps determine the needle angle and skin positioning for the injection. After performing hand hygiene and putting on gloves, relocate the site using anatomical landmarks. Then clean it with an alcohol swab, beginning at the center and spiraling out for about two inches. Let the site dry. Hold a new swab between the third and fourth fingers of your non-dominant hand. Remove the needle cap or sheath by pulling it straight off. Next, hold the syringe between your dominant thumb and forefinger as if grasping a dart. If the patient is of average size, spread the skin tightly across the site with your non-dominant hand. As an alternative, or if your patient has more subcutaneous tissue, pinch up the skin at the site. Then insert the needle quickly and firmly at a 45 to 90 degree angle for an average size patient, or at a 90 degree angle for a patient with more subcutaneous tissue. If the skin was pinched up, release it. Once the needle is in place, Stabilize the lower end of the syringe with your non-dominant hand and slowly inject the medication with your dominant hand. Avoid moving the syringe. Then withdraw the needle while placing an alcohol swab or sterile gauze gently over the site. Engage the needle safety device and apply gentle pressure to the site, but do not massage it. If heparin was given, apply pressure for 30 to 60 seconds. 
Okay, Ms. Rapp, let me just get you covered back up here. Now help the patient into a comfortable position. Put your head up a bit. Thank you. Thank you. Properly dispose of the used supplies. Remove gloves and perform hand hygiene. Okay, Mr. Rapp, we're just going to take a quick look at that injection site. Okay. As part of your follow-up care, assess the patient's response to the medication and check for therapeutic and adverse effects. That looks good. Since you're on the heparin, it's important for you to let us know if you have any nosebleeds or if you notice any blood in your urine or in your stool. Okay, okay. you need to let myself know or any of your other nurses or your physician, okay? okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you.